Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's create our very first styled component. For this basic example, let's consider styling a button HTML element. I'm going to begin by removing this header section from app.js. I'll leave in app.css so you get to know that styled components will not cause a problem if you have existing CSS files in your application. In the JSX, I'm going to add a basic button element. The text is going to be button. If we save the file and start our application with yarn start in the terminal, we should see the button being displayed. Let's head back to VS Code and see how to style this button with the styled components approach. Now, if you were to style this button with inline CSS, we would add the style prop. If you were to style with a class, we would add the class name prop, like it is the case with this div tag here. Styled components though, takes a completely different approach. As the name indicates, you're going to define a component that contains just the styles. Now that seems more complex than it sounds, so let me show the code. Step one, we import the styled function from the package. So import styled from styled components. Step two, we define a component with the styles using this styled function. So outside the app component, let's define a styled button component. Const styled button, and this is equal to the styled function. To this styled function, we can specify any HTML element that we want to style. For our example, it is the button element. So after styled, add a dot, and then button. You could see the autocomplete in action. After specifying the element, we need to add all our CSS within template literals. And that is an ES6 feature. So add backticks, which is the key below escape. And between these ticks, we specify the CSS. Now I am going to copy paste some basic button styles. And that is pretty much it. We have created our very first styled component. To use this styled button component, we invoke it in the app component, just like we would invoke any other component. So styled button, opening and closing tags, and the text is going to be styled button. I'm going to comment out the previous button element. If you now head to the browser, you should be able to see the styled button. It is as simple as that. Now one thing you're going to come across in larger code bases is the creation of separate files for styled components. So in the source folder, I'm going to create a folder called components. Within the folder, create a new file called button.js. Move the styled component code into this file. So from app.js, the import statement, and the component. Export the component as default. Export default styled button. Back in app.js, import it. So import styled button from components slash button. Use the same in the JSX. Take a look at the browser, and we still have the button being displayed as expected. You now have a styled reusable button component for use throughout your application. And this code, if you ask me, is very clean and maintainable. And to be honest, with more complex components, you're going to see a bit more organization coming into picture. 
in the components folder a new folder called button. Move button.js within the button folder. Make sure to update the imports. Now create another file called button.styles.js. So within the button folder again, create the file. And this file now would actually be responsible for the styled component. So from button.js, cut the import statement and the component, paste it in button.styles.js. Now on line three, add the export keyword and in button.js, import the named styled component. So import styled button from button.styles. Head to the browser and the button should still be displayed as expected. So this is pretty much the basics of how to create and organize a styled component. Import the styled function, specify the element you want to style, add back ticks, and finally specify the CSS. Export it from the file, import it in the component where required, and you should see a styled component being displayed in the browser. All right, in the next video, let's see how to adapt styles based on props. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.